diagram shows a triangle LMN and we're asked to calculate the length of LN. So let's just highlight what we're asked to calculate. We're asked to calculate that length there and give our answer to three significant figures. Now let's just think what we've got. We have got um, an angle and a side opposite and we've got another side. Now whenever you see an angle and a side opposite, so whenever you see that scenario going on, you're thinking the sine rule. So take a look at the sine rule on the front of your formula booklet and that is your sine rule there. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is always label the angle you've got, um, let's call it um, capital A, and this side here is going to be little a. And then label um, the other side you've got, little b, and this angle here would be capital B. So what we could do is uh, we can use this formula here. So we could say b over sine b, so we could say that 12.8 over sine b is going to be equal to uh, 15.7 over sine 136. Now, we could flip both of these now. If Or you would remember early uh, at the start that sine A over little a equals sine B over little b is the formula we could use, or we could flip it at this stage. So sine B over 12.8 is equal to sine 136 over 15.7. So therefore, sine B is equal to 12.8 sine 136 over 15.7, so B is therefore the inverse sine of the following 12.8 sine 136 over 15.7. Okay, right? Now, I'm not going to work that out just yet, I'm just going to call that angle B. Now, in theory, I've got that angle B now. So what I could do is I certainly could work out Um, I could certainly work out uh, this angle here if I wanted to by adding those two and subtracting them from 180 and then I could use the sine rule to get this or I could use the cosine rule at this stage. Well, let's just stick with where we're going. Let's work out this angle here. So I'm going to firstly work out this B here that I never worked out yet. So let's go back to that and say the inverse sine of fraction, let's call it 12.8 sine 136 all over 15.7. Okay, and come out of that and close the bracket, and we're getting 34.49 um, degrees. So B is equal to, uh, let's say, 34.4957 degrees. Point four nine five seven degrees. Now it's important to go further than three significant figures to keep the accuracy. So that's angle B. So therefore angle, um, this angle here, M, so I could say that N, M, L, that angle there is 180, subtract 136, subtract the 34.49, etc., which is as follows. So I'll remember that as ANTS. So that's 180, Subtract 136, subtract ants is going to be 9.5 degrees. So this angle here is 9.5042. I'm going to 042 degrees, that one there. So now I can use the sine rule again to work out this side. So ln, that side there, divided by sine of 9.5042 degrees must be equal to, um, let's say, 15.7 over sine 136. So ln is going to equal to 15.7 sine of 9.5042, all divided by sine of 136. So type that into the calculator. So I'm going to type in um, 15.7 sine of this. So, fifth, so fraction 15.7 sine of your answer, all divided by sine of 136, close brackets. I'm getting myself uh, the answer 3.73. 
So the answer is 3.73 centimetres. Just have a think, does it look right? It looks about reasonable here um, because these two sides are, are, are long. So this side looks like it could be 3.73.